Hey there guys, welcome back to your Football Manager channel, Full Time FM, how you doing? Uh, thanks for smashing that like button and subscribing, it's much appreciated. Today we're looking at what was a very young wonder kid, I think who started out at, um, her, what was it, been? I think it was Dundee, wasn't it? Yeah, Dundee United, there we go. Uh, same place Lewis Nielsen, the young centre-half, started out. And that was a good memory, that. <laughs> Uh, back in 2014, uh, he made a move to Sporting Lisbon. Uh, he ended up playing 73 games, scoring 8 goals for their B team, only 2 for their senior team. Um, and then he's basically been moving around the place, been out on loan a few times. Um, but more recently, he is at Forenza in Portugal, where he's moved perma permanently. Last year, he got 9 goals in 21 appearances. He's developed into a midfield player. Um, Sporting did pay 2.4 million for him. And he's got some really, really good attributes, actually. Uh, corners, first touch, passing 15. Crossing, technique 16. Dribbling 14. Uh, his physical's quite good. Acceleration, agility 14. Balance 15. Pace 13. He's only 5 foot 6, but... He's got 14 in work rate and teamwork, 15 in vision, 14 in determination, decisions, concentration, and 13 off the ball. So, described as a deep line playmaker in sports, um, you could possibly have him as a Mazzella who supports and get more out of his dribbling and his long shots. And I think that's probably his uh, favoured position. He's only valued at 975 grand, 24 year old. 11 under 21 caps, 2 under 21 goals. I would like to see him come back to Scotland and see what he can do and see if he can actually do the business at one of the Glasgow clubs. So let's see where he is in five years from now, see if he's improved and whether he's gone back to Scotland. Well, the wee Scottish Messi has moved around a little bit and Ryan Gold is now 29 and playing in the UAE with Al Jazeera. Uh... The left footed midfielder is uh, three caps, one goal, so he has played international football. It looks as though he's moved around a little bit as well. Let's have a little look. He was at Forenza, then he moved to Watford uh, for 4.1 million. Didn't really do too well though, he only played seven games. He went on loan to Benevento uh, in Italy, played 15 games, got six assists. Uh, Crystal Palace in the Skybet Championship in 23 24 season. They picked him up for six and a half million. He played thirty games, scored four, assisted for one player match award. And the following year, just as the season kicked off and he just played one game for them, Al Jazeera come and snap him up for four million. Uh so far he's uh assisted and scored three. Um three goals, three assists in seventeen appearances, one player to match award. I think uh Forenza is uh a good team for him really in Portugal he did have a little loan spell in Scotland but he's not ended up going back to Scotland which is disappointing um, I thought Hibernian might have picked him up but they haven't so looking at Ryan Gold his technique is 17 vision and crossing 16 first touch and passing 15 so he's quite a creative player gets the crowd going tries to play his way out of trouble Good little midfield player. Um, has he fulfilled his wonder kid potential? I don't think he has. Um, you know, I think he may be a left under United too soon. He had scored uh, seven goals in 42 appearances. And had he stayed there a little bit longer, which is easy to say, but when Sporting Lisbon come for you, it's a massive team in Portugal and they offer a bit of money for you. It's, it's hard to turn down. Um, you know, 2.4 million for Dundee back then is a lot of money as well. So, I think maybe if he'd have stayed in Scotland, it would have worked out different for him. Maybe he'd have been playing for Celtic or Rangers. Uh, maybe a Premier League club would have come picked him up and he would have developed a little bit more. But you would have hoped to have seen a little bit more out of Ryan Gold. The Scottish Messi. Um, it feels like a talent that is lost, unfortunately. Hopefully, he does in real life absolutely smash it. Good luck to him. 
anyway i will see you all in the next one make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe it's much appreciated and i will see you soon